The Quran is a message or is an infinite fountain of spiritual elevation. It's a very spiritual book. It cleanses what's in the hearts. And at the same time, it is the infinite, it has an infinite source of intellectual wisdom. It is both of those things simultaneously. I don't know of any other book that does that. That is both spiritual and intellectual simultaneously. But this is Allah's book. On the one hand, those who remember Allah standing, sitting on all their sides. Remembering Allah. Dhikr happens where? In the heart. And they think deeply about the sky and the earth. They think about creation around them. That's happening here, both the heart and the mind. They're both being addressed in this book. And it is a disservice to Allah's book when we present it in a way that is spiritually bankrupt. It is a disservice to the Quran that we present it purely in rational terms and do not respect its spiritual integrity. And at the same time, it is a disservice to Allah's book that we don't we fall short of its in intellectual integrity when we present its message. Don't be shallow in your, when you speak about the Quran. Know what you're talking about. Understand its depth. The Quran, first and foremost, is a call to human decency. It's not something alien to people. Decency is, is native to all peoples. It's calling people back to their fitrah. It's something they already have. It's making them go back to the original. It is not something new. The rhetoric outside right now is Islam is something new. It comes from another place. It is evil. It is strange. It is not from us. And Allah is telling you this is something of your own. You're, you're being asked to go back to what you originally are to discover your, your genuine humanity, to become a decent human being once again. This rhetoric has to change. We have to bring it back to what it's supposed to be. We can't allow this rhetoric to invade and we can't allow any remnant of it to enter into our own, our own discourse. May Allah Azza wa Jal make us really become people of da'wah. May He make us people of credible character that even if we don't open our mouth about Islam, we speak volumes about Islam from our character. The way we deal with society, with our neighbors, with our families, with our co-workers and business partners, that in and of itself tells the people who their, these people's teacher is. It is Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.